Welcome to the map guide for Malinovka. Malinovka was originally a map you got very early on in the game, but since then we banished it to the mid-tiers, and that's changed it dramatically. It's also been reworked here and there. If Malinovka was being played properly, here's what would happen. Each team would set up a defensive line round about their base. The people in the south, well, they hide in these little buildings that you find round about J4, J5, and H6. The people in the sort of west side of the map, well, they've got some hills and rocks round about F2, E3. And the main teams would charge all the way up to the hill, which is found up at A90. And then they would have a great big fight, and then whoever won would win the map. Unfortunately, Malinovka almost never plays out like that. And there's reasons for that, and they're named. Let's get on with them. The first area you've got is the River Road. It starts at H1, and it ends at K3. This road is tricksy. The other one you've got is the Swamp Rod. Starts round about D3 and sort of mangles its way around to H6. You've also got a church that's squatting up there round about A6, B6. You've got the hill itself, I told you before, that's A90. And you've got open fields round about B and C8. So why does this make the map more complicated? Simple. If you've got fast moving tanks, you'll often see them making a blistering run down the river road. What they're trying to do is cross over to the enemy's side and get into a little dip. There's one at K3 and it's mirrored at H1. If they can get a tank there, they can cause all sorts of trouble. They can do lots of spotting and there can be lots of secondary damage. Therefore, each team has to deal with a river rod. Generally, you park a couple of TDs there to blow up these tanks when they make a run, but sometimes they're tricksy fast. And if they can get in there, your only answer is to dig them out. Worse, both of these places are pretty much arty safe, which means someone has to risk going around the corner, and when you do that, your opponent team can do counterfire. While that's happening, some idiot will suddenly go into the middle of the field. That's that big open field that starts at G2 and makes its way all the way over to H5. That's madness, well, I suppose, unless you're in a T95, you're impenetrable and there's no artillery, in which case, it's a genius play. They're busy lighting everyone up and shots are being exchanged. While that's happening, someone else is running across that swamp line, and what they're doing is hiding round about F5, where we've now given you a magic bush and a rock to hide behind, you're doing all sorts of passive scouting, driving everyone crazy. The mediums and TDs, well, if they're on the west side, they've found their way to C5 and D5, I suppose, C6 as well, where they're doing all sorts of trouble. They're counterfiring into the field, they're firing up onto the hill, they're firing over the open areas, it's a landslide. If they're over on the south outside, then you find their way to E7 and F7, sometimes you see them at F9, and they're doing the same thing. Opportunity fire up onto the hill, they're firing over where the church is, they're firing across the swamp, onto the fields, it's a hog heaven. <laughs> The hill itself is where the main battle is going to happen with the heavies when they finally get there. There are three routes. One is to go all the way up to A0 around the back of a windmill, which at least makes you arty safe. The more traditional route is to take the middle road, which goes from A9 to B0. There's a lot of hull down shooting there and peekabooing. And there's a slightly lower road, also starts at A9, crosses into B9 and then ends at B0. And now if you take that road, you do cut off a bit of distance, but you do become available to all the mediums that are hiding in the bottom ground. Why would you do this? Because if if you can take the hill, you can do all sorts of damage to the teams. The artillery goes and hides in forests, so that's A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, and I suppose A3 if you really wanted to. And then over on the other side you'll find artillery on K90, and anywhere in the forest really, J0, H0, I've seen them there as high up as F0 at times. Quick point about defensive play, if you can get a tank at K7 and can stay reasonably well hidden behind those houses, you can do all sorts of trouble. Uh, there's also a windmill again at K7. Six. That's really good for hiding behind if you want to be defensive play. You can do defensive on the other side of the map. C1 isn't too bad, and I suppose you can hide right at the back at E1 and try and do some base resetting. I wouldn't recommend going out onto the field, but I have seen it be a victorious move near the end game. Pay attention to the map while you're playing. One of the big plays you'll often see is everyone goes trundling up to the hill and then someone makes a break along river run and tries to take the base. My advice to you is this. If they've brought enough tanks and you're going towards the hill, turn around and go back. If you don't, the game will be over. If on the other hand they didn't bring enough tanks, they should be punished mercilessly. Continue your hill push and I'll see you on the other side of victory. Malinovka, no longer a beginner's map, kind of fun to play. I take heavies, I go hill. We'll see you on the battlefield.